Bonjour tout le monde. I'm back again with another YouTube video. But today I'm gonna show you guys um, how I usually make my own in back backdrop for my for my for my decoration business. So how I do it. So pretty much I'm trying to save money, guys. So I usually buy this kind of fabric. I'll buy the whole fabric from, uh, I'll put the, the website where you usually get it from. Um, I, I'll i buy, it will come like this. So pretty much you need about like a four year for one panel. Four year, okay? To make the whole panel, you need four year. So I get this one, this one. This is about probably like uh, it's twenty quantity about four 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 year probably about like five panel I believe so so I'm gonna take it out and then my help is gonna hold it for me side to side I'm gonna call it okay so it's gonna look pretty much like this let me show you guys an example this is the one in white. This is the spandex fabric. It's a spandex one, two-way straight. So, which is good when you do the draping. It's kind of, um, you see how it's, it's moving, right? <laughs> so this is the one I made before. This is the one I'm talking about, it's four year. So I'm gonna use the same measurement and cut it to make um, the panel for my backdrop, all right? So I'm gonna take it out from the box and make on the plastic. See how big it is. It's a little bit of work, but you save money, guys. I like custom. <laughs> Let me hold it for me over there. Let me pull this. I don't want to call it for for by mistake to hold the to cut all of the fabric. So I'm gonna take the plastic off of it. Okay guys, so I took the plastic off of it, so I'm gonna cut it, see, it's kind of a lot, out of this I can get maybe like a, I think four panels, I don't, I don't remember again how much I bought it, but when we're gonna cut it, we're gonna find out. This as a measurement, this is four yards. Okay, so it's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and then call it. Alright, so almost done with one panel. I should get pretty much, I think, four panels because it's four. Wow. Oh. Alright, guys, I'm making so you guys can see a pretty good view of it. Wow. 
ice to add on one panel out now we're gonna do the second one as I go I'm gonna cut the second one and I'll, I'll do the rest of camera and I'll let you guys know um, I'll let you guys know how many panels came out of it, okay? All right, let me cut the second one so you guys can see how I do it. Like I was saying, you need one panel is four year. All right guys, so I got pretty much the four year. So I'm gonna make a niche here. I'm gonna cut the second panel. This is the second panel, not a four year. All right, so I got two panels so far, two. And I'll do the rest off camera and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I get out of it like, um, let's say three panels, one, two, I mean four panels and a half, which is not supposed to be four. It's four panels. And a half. This is the small one left. Um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this one. So the next one, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it to the drip. So we're gonna go to my sewing machine, and I'm gonna show you guys how it come out. All right. See you at the sewing. All right, guys. So pretty much, we're back in the machine, sewing machine. So you know what you need: a matching thread. This is a matching thread or whatever your fabric you have. Um, pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. You need a pin so you can hold your fabric. Um, and that's it so what are in the tape measurement but I'm not gonna use my tape measurement of me all I can do I can use my thumb and my and my, my I can use my finger just like a measurement I, if you have a tape measurement you need at least like a eight inches eight inches that will do because you don't want something like too tight on the backdrop pole so you want something loose you can play with your fabric when you design it so I just use my my thumb and my index finger. So I just put like this, no too wide, just a little bit like this. If you make it like this, it's gonna be more than more than um, more than four or five. So I just put my finger like this, and you can see that's my measurement. And I hold it on that side, and I fold it back down. That's it. That's the only way I, I measure it. So this way it's kind of a little bit bigger enough to go through the and I will check it back again like you can see so it's the same size so I just use my my pin now to hold the fabric so it's not gonna uh, shift and just put it where I'm gonna sew it so you just want to make sure everything is um, the same it's not like some of the side is big and some of the side is smaller. 
doing for them. Then you're checking it all around. Check if it's not too big. But if you have your tape measurement, you're gonna need a chalk, sewing chalk, and so you just put the line and then you follow the dot. But I'm not gonna do that. I just use this, and that's pretty much I need as my reference. I'm done pinning it now. I'm gonna take it to the machine and um, put them together. So, always at the beginning, make sure you um, uh, double stitch your fabric to lock it so your fabric is not gonna come out. Like I always say, it doesn't need to be perfect, so, you know, nobody's gonna see whatever is in the back. So the only thing you, you need is to have a matching thread. I mean, the thread is matching with your fabric, so, so it's not gonna look awkward, okay? So that's it. Right, I just double stitch at the end. And pretty much you have your drape. 